Hello, it is time to talk about CNC uh, late C axis machine. Before that, I would like to mention about the history of the turning. As you know, that turning machine is quite oldest. You can see the some oldest CNC machine on the screen. Okay, let's talk about the engineering stuff. Engineeringly, turning is a machining process in which a cutting tool moves against the rotating workpiece to remove material. As you know that, and there is some material and which is turning, turning uh, on the Z direction. Also, there is some tool, and we call it cutter most of the time. That tool go to X and X direction to remove our materials. So, engineeringly, we call that that kind of stuff turning operation. As you know that turning. Turning operations, you need to calculate the spindle speed according to your cutting speed. There is some formula that is the common version of our formula and that is the summary of our formula. As you can see that uh, you just need to divide your cutting speed uh, to tool diameter. After that, you need to multiply with the 300 and after that you can get your spindle speed. Spindle speed means that and how many times gonna turn around your tool in a one minute. So you can calculate that. You can see the some example of it. If you uh, if you use the 100 150 and cutting speed and with diameter 50, you can get almost to 1000 RPM. If you uh, intend to use that cutting speed by turning 20 millimeters, you're gonna get 2000 uh, RPM. So it means that when you decrease your uh, workpiece diameter, you need to increase your cutting. Uh, you need to increase your spindle speed. So, so that's the main idea. Okay, that is the not CNC turning machine. You can see that that is uh, normal CNC machine. You can see chuck and tail stork and horizontal feet wheel and vertical feet wheel or you can see the little and some minimum or small uh, x direction movement wheel here and there is some emergency stop switch over here so that is the normal machine okay uh, this is the cnc machine you can see the turret over there you can change your tool and in that case you can use the four or six tools but according to your turret diameter you can use an eight or 20 maybe uh, something like tool so you can change it that is our cutter holder so there is main spindle over there and we call it chuck and we can fix our materials on it. So that's all. Let's talk about the axis. As you can see that there is X and Z axis in normal CNC late. Uh, after that, uh, you can see that that is X direction and this is, this is X direction and that is Z direction. That is another example, X and Z direction. And that is facing turning. If you intend to face turning, you need to use depth like this. And you intend to go to the X zero point. So we call it facing turning. And that is some example of it. And in normal CNC machine, you also make some drill. And but you need to be careful about that. You just only x 0, 0.0 and you can make your drill and otherwise you cannot do. You need uh, extra C axis. That is the C axis operations. You can see that there is some spindle on our turret and you can also organize your chuck rotation. So we call it C axis. Uh, of course, in that case, you need some movement and when you fix your workpiece, you need uh, some spindle 
and on the turret and with tool so you can use that stuff and we call it c-axis operations in the c-axis operations as you can see that we can create uh, some drilling operation on the different expo uh, exposition and also you can you uh, you can see that x z and the other stuff over there and also you can use uh, by using mastercam c axis cross counter that is the cross counter operations you can create some slot and uh, on your workpiece and also you can put your tool uh, on the x uh, z direction that is uh, on the x direction but in that case you can see your tool on the z direction and we call it face contour and you can create something like that and also another example you can create some figure on your workpiece face and also you can create some uh, c-axis contour like that so another example you can create some c-axis drilling operations also if you have a y-axis also you can create some y-axis operations like this as you can see that that drill on the and x uh, i mean the z-axis and uh, yeah, in the master cam x axis but on the cnc machine on the um, z axis so that's not problem you can create that kind of operations by only using c axis but if you need the some operation something like that 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 drill uh, that hole is okay but that one is not okay because this is not on the z-axis that is shifted on the z-axis so uh, it means that you need extra y-axis to use that kind of stuff and the master cam also support that kind of activities we call it cross drilling operations okay in that case i just want to show you uh, how we can keep going in our master cam training uh, kits so and all that and the operations I show to you, I'm going to teach you in that course.